LPAC Corporation, a leader in the soft drink business, is constantly in motion, constantly striving to serve its customers. And in this introduction to LPAC, you'll discover that to stay an industry leader, LPAC has set high standards of performance which are felt at every level of the company. The present Alpac Corporation has grown dramatically over the last 30 years, with 13 locations in five states. What are the secrets to its successes and how did it all begin? Well first, Alpac is an abbreviation for the Alaska Pacific Salmon Corporation. It was born at the turn of the century in Frontier, Alaska, starting as a seafood company formed by the Skinner Eddy Company, a subsidiary of the Skinner Corporation. But in 1957, when the Skinner Corporation sold the assets of the Alaska Pacific Salmon Corporation to the New England Fish Company, Skinner abbreviated the name to Alpac and purchased Glacier Beverages, a Seattle-Tacoma bottling and distribution company. Glacier had been in the soft drink business since 1931, bottling various soft drinks acquiring the Pepsi-Cola line in 1936. The years that followed were marked by dramatic growth and expansion. In the 60s and 70s, Alpac expanded into Alaska and Hawaii and purchased the Everett Washington 7-Up franchise. In 1980, Alpac had six locations. In 1987, Alpac purchased five new franchise operations. And after the nearly 30 years since Alpac entered into the soft drink business, it entered into a joint venture with PepsiCo when it purchased the Portland and Salem, Oregon, Spokane, Washington, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, and Everett, Washington Pepsi branches. Pepsi currently owns 15% of the company. Today, Alpac is the largest independent Pepsi bottler on the West Coast and third in the country with branches in Seattle, Tacoma, Everett, Spokane, Portland, Salem, Coeur d'Alene, Alaska, and Hawaii. LPAC's position as an industry leader is primarily due to the fact that LPAC offers customers unmatched value in marketing expertise and service. And that means knowing how to promote products, getting products to the customer when needed, and paying scrupulous attention to product quality. It begins with production, the actual manufacturing of our soft drink products warehousing, where product inventory is stored and trucks are loaded so that customers can receive merchandise. Marketing, the ability to properly analyze Alpac's market position in order to capture an aggressive share of the market. And of course, sales, where service begins with key account managers who acquire accounts and continues with pre-sales representatives who present Alpac's products to the customers along with recommendations for shelf space and the drivers who deliver the product. And finally, the merchandisers who stock the products and build displays. Alpac Sales Information System, a computer database, assists the Alpac sales force to determine the amounts a customer should order. But regardless of how much the customer orders, the Alpac distribution system ensures that product is delivered when it's needed. Production of soft drinks can be more complex than most people realize. The complexity comes in the procedures and controls needed to make sure every can or bottle tastes the same and is identical in quality. And in that regard, Pepsi National has recognized LPAC's superior quality control and awarded each of LPAC's production facilities with the Calibratum Quality Assurance Award for the last 10 years as well as the Gold Circle Award. As much as the operation of the company makes it stand out, its true uniqueness begins with you, the Alpac employee. The company's professionalism starts with the high standards Alpac sets for its employees, like you, and the training the company will provide to assure that you can meet those standards. Carl Benke, president of Alpac, has some thoughts on Alpac's business and its employees. Carl, what would you tell someone about the business that Alpac is in? Well, Alpac's in the soft drink business, uh, primarily in the northwest uh, part of the United States. And it's a, a consumer products business, something that everybody is aware of. Uh, we have advertising that everybody sees, and our products are virtually everywhere. Uh, you can't go to a supermarket or someone's home or a restaurant without seeing our products. And it's a very competitive business. Uh, we're there on the streets every day and, and fighting to get our market share and, and sell as much as we can. And what are the major challenges that the company faces? I think the, the biggest challenge we have that, that all businesses have, and that's to hire very good people. Mm -hmm. And we work at that uh, through the interview process. So somebody that's seen this tape should feel very good about that. 
the second uh, biggest challenge is to provide good service uh, to our customers. We have a great product line and we have uh, great facilities to work from and it's up to our employees to provide the service and, and take care of our customers and that's why it's so important to hire the good employees in the first place. Great. LPAC has a strong commitment to the communities it serves. Why is that? Well, being a family-owned business uh, allows us to do some things that maybe some other businesses can't. Uh, but our family feels very strongly about giving back uh, to the communities where we operate and where we uh, fortunately are able to, to make a profit. And we give 5% of our pre-tax profits uh, into the communities through our foundation uh, to help make the communities a better place for our employees and, and for future people moving into those areas. Mm -hmm. We also uh, uh, support and encourage our employees to become involved in various community efforts, uh, be it United Way drives, uh, walkathons for a variety of agencies, and to volunteer their time when they have the opportunity. Uh, but we feel that uh, that the communities where we operate are much better off when a strong, caring company spends time and money to support mm -hmm. the, the community. What kind of workplace environment does LPAC have? Well, I think a new employee will quickly see uh, what kind of a workplace it is. We've been working on a employee empowerment program called Heroic Environments. Mm -hmm. And with this program, we're balancing our business values with our people values and training all of our employees uh, as they make decisions and as they go through the workday to think of both of the business values and people values before they make their decisions. Um, we want our employees to take ownership in their jobs and in, in all of their decision making. We want to give them more responsibility, but we also want them to, to take the responsibility for the decisions that they make. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the heroic environment. Now, how does that potentially affect someone's success at LPAC? Well, an employee can be successful here. Uh, if they learn to internalize the business values and the people values and apply them in their day-to-day -day life and in decision making. Now, we will be training all of our new employees in the Heroic Environment Program and they will learn about the business values and the people values. Carl, comment if you would about LPAC's commitment to safety. One of our business values is to provide a safe work environment. And that has kind of a dual meaning. Uh, the first is that we want it to be safe for employees to speak out and, and to voice their opinions. But uh, what you're talking about is on the job safety. And we have a responsibility to provide a safe work environment, to have good vehicles and, and uh, good surroundings. And then the employees have uh, the responsibility to always uh, obey uh, safety practices. Uh, productivity is very important here, and, and they'll hear a lot about productivity, but safety is just as important. Hmm. We can't give up safety for the sake of productivity. And what would you tell an employee about their opportunities for growth at LPAC? Well, I think they're, they're tremendous. Uh, we are still looking to grow uh, the business, as, as I've said, both internally and, and through expansion. Um, we have a firm commitment to promote from within the company and train our people so that we can promote them. And the majority of uh, all of our managers uh, have, people, have been people that have worked for us for a number of years and have come up through the ranks. Now, what advice would you give to our new employee on their first day? Well, this is just the start of their orientation program and not to get too confused in the first couple of days when they get inundated with new information, but we want to get them up to speed as quickly as possible so that they can begin to, to really perform. Uh, there are a couple of real practical things that I think that they need to know. Uh, the company's name is Alpac, not Allpac, and, and a lot of people make that mistake. Um, we sell branded products and uh, Pepsi is very important to us and we hope that our employees drink our products and use the word Pepsi or cola and not uh, the other word. Uh, th those are kind of simple things, but they'll see that the rest of the employees are very sensitive to all of them. I think uh, longer term, uh, this is a very successful company and we expect high performance and we expect success. And so they need to work at that and, and then uh, they will do a, a good job here. As an Alpac employee, you receive benefits to assure you and your family of personal security in case of unforeseen illness or injury. 
These include health benefits like medical, dental, and vision coverage, life and accident insurance, sick leave, as well as short and long-term disability insurance. On a personal side, LPAC offers programs for retirement, education assistance, matching gifts, and employee assistance. And let's not forget about vacation and holiday benefits. Your personal safety and the health of each LPAC employee is of primary importance. You'll find that LPAC's attitude regarding the prevention of injury in the workplace holds as much importance as productivity. That's why LPAC makes accident prevention everyone's responsibility. Each LPAC branch has an active safety committee and accident review board to review issues in any accident so that future accidents can be prevented. You'll be learning more about these and other safety issues such as proper handling of hazardous materials, back injury prevention, stretching programs, workplace hazards, and safe work practices. As you will learn with each passing day, LPAC truly cares about its business, but ultimately, and more importantly, about you. As much as LPAC cares about its people, it also cares about its surrounding business environment. LPAC is a company which believes in thanking each community it serves by giving the community back a portion of its profits. It does this in two ways. First, LPAC gives 5% of its profits back to the community through the Skinner Foundation. Secondly, LPAC's employees are highly active in volunteer groups in each community. For these efforts, LPAC has received the John Reese Award for Community Involvement presented by Pepsi National. And, as an LPAC employee, you'll become a partner in a venture to excel in many ways. You become a participant in LPAC's people values, through which you learn how to treat others in the workplace. You'll learn about LPAC's business values, which will help all of us build a stronger LPAC team that shares values and solves problems together. LPAC's values are the same for all of its employees. From its administrative personnel to its sales, manufacturing, marketing, and distribution team members. Yes, there are expectations, but they only bring us the very best in our working environment. You'll learn more about that in the future when we discuss heroic behavior in what we call heroic environment. We're glad to have you with us as part of this dynamic, fun, and fast-paced business. Welcome to the Alpac Corporation.